Okay, so miss, just review real quickly, like how do I draw a face if I'm not doing the grid? So slide eight, some of you are on slide eight, just kind of like some reminders. We're all working, we're all drawing faces. Yes, slide eight, thank you for putting the deck in. So slide eight has grid videos. Please stop and ask questions. So what am I doing this? We start off with a, uh, a circle, a very light circle, just to map out the upper portion of the head. Okay guys, so time me. Okay. And then we start to put in some kind of angular shape to map out like the jaw, which is gonna be the bottom half of the face. And because he's like a little bit turned to the side, that'll also follow like the triangle won't be like a straight triangle. It'll be a little bit off to the side. And then I see you like already mapping in the nose and like getting the shape of that in. But we keep like the nose, um, like the line on the bridge of the nose, a soft boundary if you're like facing forward, because when we're like looking forward, you can't really see like the sides of the nose. It's a very soft boundary and it starts to blend out. And then we start to put in other facial features like the eyes. And the and eyes are halfway down like this triangle and, and oh, yeah. the circle. So I have this one circle and then I have a triangle, mm -hmm. which is the structure. And halfway down all of this to clarify is the eyes? Yes, right in the middle. Um, you don't need to follow me. Like we are modeling working and we're modeling kind of like the thinking. So this is kind of like music in the background. Yes, everyone? Mm -hmm. Right, because it's just sort of like we don't want you to be like, wait, I don't know what to do. So we are modeling the objective, right, miss? Yes. So you, like your reference photo might have a completely different like angle on their face. So you just like, yeah, like background music. So you're not following, but this is a time to ask questions and we will give extra points if you ask questions like, wait, like what do I do if blah, blah, blah. Um, what do you mean soft boundary? This is when you should ask questions or how did you do that? Or stop and ask feedback. You would get so much points if you stopped. Turn your camera on, ask for feedback. Give me advice. Like we're just trying to, you know, do something. We don't know. So you could like stop class and you could ask for feedback if you need it. Okay, miss, how am I doing? Great. And like, because the face is turned to the side, I like that you have a little bit more of like a harder boundary on the left side of the nose. So you, you were saying earlier that a lot of kids are not um, coloring in the background? Yeah, on the, I feel like people think because it's the draft, it just needs to be like a, like a general idea, which it kind of is. But I think coloring in the background or at least like mapping out like what you're planning on doing with the background is going to help you figure out whether you like what you're thinking. Cause when you put it auto on paper, it like looks a little different than it might in your head. So I just like to also do the background. I, I like it because it gives me a sense of my values, like my different values. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Marilyn said, we would have to put dark value under the chin so it can stand out. Yeah, anyone, anyone have feedback, just like chime in. You know, this is a forum, we're all trying to get better. And you keep like looking back at your reference image and then going back to your drawing, figuring out like where everything should actually go instead of like trying to memorize what you're drawing. Yeah, I am looking a lot. And I can use any shading technique. Mm -hmm in any sort of supply. Any other feedback mess or questions from anyone?
Anyone writing in the chat for points? No. Nothing. Are we all working? Can you confirm that you're working? You should have your supplies out. I'm just like, mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Go just ahead. Just a reminder that if anyone's sending me a private message, I can't see it. So make sure you're like putting it like into the chat where everyone can see it. I'll stop and I'll look. Um, is this enough of a like get going for everyone? Do we feel like we're starting? Okay. So I'm going to stop. I'm just skimming the chat. I don't see any private messages. So anyone who asks for feedback will get points just to review. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to log out. Yes or no? Look, guys, I've been doing my homework. Anything to engage y'all. Does this look like him? I need feedback. Okay, miss, what, what, what can I do to improve my portrait? To make it look more like him? Besides the tattoos, uh, probably just add more value. Add more. So is there such a thing as adding too much value? No. D'Angeli says it looks like him. It does? You know, I didn't use the grid, y'all. He's got a leaf on his head. Why would you have a leaf on your head? Okay. You guys tell me. Unmute yourself and tell me. Have have Miss Hibbler hear your fire. Juan, get on there and talk about 69. Unmute yourself. I just heard the B word. I don't know if I like this guy. Is there like a 69 clean? 69 clean. This is a school YouTube channel, you all. There is no clean 6 9. Uh, sorry, guys. I can't hear the B word, but I'll draw him. Okay, what, 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 miss? Does he have like bigger eyebrows? Give me some, like, like, tell me what to do. Let me, let me draw with some energy. All right. Um, yeah, adding some hair. How do I draw a braid? I don't know if I can put that into words, miss. <laughs> and maybe his ear? Oh, his ear. He's got a big ear. Not making fun. <laughs> so everyone, just to be clear, we're all posting progress this week towards our like journey of drawing faces whatever that looks like and we're showing growth we're showing challenge like this is growth for me i didn't know who six nine was before this i didn't know you could have a spider web on your face let me say keep going miss it looks like him really yeah, I think the facial proportions like match up. Maybe just like the left side of his face would be a little bit closer or like less rounded cheeks. Like the proportions are wrong or something? Yeah, like we can erase that line and then like. Like his face is bigger or something. I drew him like a baby. <laughs> his forehead looked big from the left side of his. What? Yeah, I think it cuts off a little bit more like closer to his eye. Oh, it's oh, okay. So I got to bring that in. Yeah. And yeah, like, look at this. You guys can just add to the background to like, um, cut off some parts, like extra parts of the face. It sounds weird like to say that. No, like, but, but you guys, I, I like that we're talking about this because drawing is kind of like sculpting, drawing and painting. Mm -hmm. Does that look more like him now? The I forehead. Feel, the what forehead. about a forehead? It, just looked like, it looked like he got a bump on his forehead. You gotta like draw it like in a square kind of, like right there, make it a square. 
It's more square. Yeah. Cause then, cause then the that one here is like it comes down from there. Okay. Guys, look, I'm 37 and I'm growing. You put growth in seesaw. How am I not going to give you a good grade? Okay, now what? Uh, now maybe add on to his hair. Oh my gosh, can I even find this color? Pink. Who has green hair? I, am I sounding judgy? I don't mean to sound judgy. So you can use those markers, add some fun colors. So much of art is about finding the right color. So he's got like a braid over here. If you got one color, keep it. I feel like his mouth is bigger, no? Yeah, I think it is a little bit. Like I feel like I drew him with too much of a baby face. They say uh, he has a six nine under his eye and over his eye. What? Like six nine? It says that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> It's like blue. Do your exit slip, write your goals. Am I gonna get in trouble for drawing six nine? Can y'all tell me? Can I use blue for shadow miss? Yeah, can use any cool colors. Look at him, he's like, um, six nine. Angela says, no, you won't get in trouble. <laughs> I'm not gonna get in trouble. I feel like his chin is bigger. So sometimes like just by taking away your drawing too, I make this point in some of my videos, like just by taking away and having your eraser close by it, you're fixing it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I should darken this, huh? yeah all right guys so we're at 20. look you get your points if you post i'm kind of trying to use what i learned in mrs video like really thinking about the face and like boxes he's got a little boxy lips hello on six nine office hours Office hours when, miss, will be available Wednesday, Thursday, 2.30 to 3 to answer all your questions. You are getting points for posting the Seesaw. Have a good day. Stay tuned on my YouTube channel. We'll, miss and I will do more 6-9 drawings because I feel like that woke you all up. <laughs> you guys all got woke when we did like 6-9. Hi, have a good day. Yes, I'm going to look right now. Wait, miss, I had a question. Yes, go. I said it was like too late to turn me into a still life project. No. So I wake up like, right? That yeah. is so, everyone in here, you still turn in that still life. Yes, I want to give you an A. I know that stuff is happening. Is that Kyla talking? Make sure you send me your address. Hey, Who's that? that? That was me talking. Okay, yeah. You can still do the still life. Kyla, my advice to you is to work larger. Okay. You know, like, because I feel like you stay kind of tight and then you have less space for value. Okay, wait, where am I supposed to like draw it at? Like what paper? Um, You got like a manila, a large manila paper, a large beige paper. You can use like marker, pen, watercolor. Okay. Wait, that paper is for the still life project, right? The large one? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and you know, if you want to do the still life in watercolor, that's fine. Like, you know, you kind of like use what you got to make it work. But I was thinking like the still life, you would have like use more marker. What's nice about using beige paper, Kyla, 
is it forces you to think about highlights. So where is it white? So you could go in with your white color pencil and actually make the choice of putting in that highlight. Okay. All right, am I missing anything in the chat, miss? Bye, Kyla. Stay safe, everyone. All right, so I don't know when I'm supposed to go down for this COVID test. Um, but I'm gonna start period seven early. Okay. Everyone, if you're still in here, you can post faces in still life. That's what we're doing. Miss, how did how do you feel like it went? Good, I think. Um, I really like starting with the warm up. Maybe like next time we can start off with like the lines, like getting value in just lines. Yeah, and I'm recording this session in case you need it. I don't know. Oh, thank you. I'll just put it, but I, maybe I'll use, I'll use it like in the future. I'll probably project you when I'm like 60, I'll, like project you on the wall. I'll be like, listen to this young person. I'll be like 50 something. I <laughs> won't be too young anymore. I know. I know. Age. I know. I like joking about age because I, I can't believe how fast time is going. It's like funny to me. I'm like, I don't understand. Yeah. I feel like the older I get, the faster time goes. And yeah, I feel like people laugh because we're like not that old. <laughs> we're not, we're not. But yeah, but you know, you have to like approach, you have to think about that if you're a creative person or a visionary, because for me, that motivates me to do art. Yeah. It's like we have a finite amount of time on this earth. And once you embrace that, it's like, well, you know, I better make stuff. Because all the paintings my grandma made, we cherish. Mm -hmm. She started at 60. All right, I'll jump on period seven and I might have to vanish. So okay. I'll make you the co-host right away. So I'll see All you right. in a second. Okay, see you there. Thanks for making my life easy. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I love it. 